Hello and welcome to the series of videos that we're going to use to go through a program called Jamovi, which is a software program that you can use to conduct statistical analyses uh, without too much trouble. So I chose Jamovi for this class because it is free for anyone to download. You can have it on your computer. There are lots of other software programs that are used for statistics and they're either uh, really involved and hard to really wrap your head around in a short period of time, or they're super expensive and Ball State doesn't make it very easy to get it on your computer. Jamovi is kind of a perfect program for us because it is going to let us do the kinds of things that we'd want to be able to do for basic statistics, uh, and it'll give you just some idea about using digital data, applying the analyses we've been doing uh, throughout the semester that we've done by hand or using some shortcuts. Uh, but here we're going to be able to handle lots more uh, of the analysis in a pretty efficient way. So whereas in class we could only ever do problems that had a handful of data points, here we could have hundreds or thousands of data points and it doesn't take us any more or less time. So in this series of videos I'm going to walk you through uh, in the early videos installing Jamovi, getting data into it, thinking about descriptive statistics, and then each video after that is going to be a different statistical test that we've learned in class, but being able to do it in this software program. For this starter video though I just kind of want to give you a few little heads up to help along the way. So what I have up on my screen here is the uh, Blackboard page for this class. Uh, and I have student preview mode on here just because things look a little different on my end of things. But this should be pretty much what you see when you go onto the Blackboard page for our statistics class. Uh, so I'm in the Jamovi tab. So I've clicked Jamovi and here I am. Uh, and I just kind of want to show you the things that are in here. So this link here to download Jamovi, I'll go ahead and click that. That'll take you to the download page. I don't have kind of a walkthrough for getting this installed. It's going to be a little different depending on which system you're on. Uh, so if you're using a Windows, you'll use the Windows installer, a Mac, use the Mac installer. Um, and so it's pretty straightforward. I found it's pretty straightforward to download it. It's a pretty simple program. Uh, but in the resources tab on this uh, website, you can go to the user guide. And if you do have any trouble, this will help you through it. So this installation for Windows, Mac, Linux, if you are so inclined. Uh, and then it, it also gives you some tutorial stuff. But I, I'll go ahead and just say, try to use my tutorials because I know I've designed it with this class in mind, uh, but these sorts of things might also be handy if you are in the market for extra tutorials. But I just kind of wanted to highlight here that you can find extra help on installing the program here uh, if you happen to have any problems. Should be fairly straightforward though. Go back to the uh, Blackboard page. So that's the download uh, Jamovi website there. Uh, up top, I made a folder called Data Files. Inside this folder, if you click on it, you'll see uh, the kinds of files that we'll be using in class and for these demos. So it may look a little different by the time you have full access to all of this stuff. Um, while we do our tutorials, this Jamovi demo Dot csv is going to be the data that we work through. These other files are either for your own playing around, they're going to come up in homeworks, uh, etc. So anytime you need to do a statistical analysis with this software, the data for those analyses are going to be in this data files tab. And go back to this main page here. Uh, and I just also wanted to highlight these two other files that I made available. I, I can't tell right now how useful they're going to be but they are from an open source statistics book. Uh, and there are two chapters from that book in PDF form that give you some helpful information. So the first of these is the uh, overview of how to use Jamovi, get data into it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and of course, it's taking forever to load now. Let me go ahead and load it up on what I already have here. So the first link is to this document, this Jamovi using the software document. Uh, if you scroll through, you'll see the table of contents here it is a lot of the kind of stuff that I'm going to go through in these videos. But if you want more of a walkthrough, you want some screenshots, this is the place to find them. These examples, I think, are all entering your own data, whereas I'll walk you through loading up a pre-made data set. Uh, but you'll see uh, one sample t-test, paired samples t-test, which is what we've been calling a dependent t-test. 
independent samples t-test, one-way ANOVA, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff and correlation and regression, all sorts of stuff that we will get to, uh, and then other stuff that we haven't gotten to. But if you're curious, those are there for you. The other page that I think is helpful, this other PDF is called Annotated Output. So this is what you can refer to once you do the analysis in Jamovi and then it gives you the results and then you go, I, I don't know what any of this means. So the handy thing about this is you can go, let's go down to a one sample t-test, for example, and you'll see what it shows is the output that Jamovi will give you and then a bunch of extra information about where it comes from, right? And some of this stuff uh, you will be familiar with. Some of the symbols are, are going to be a little bit different, but you can see that T equals M minus mu over, they call it SE of M, we called it S of M, same thing. Uh, and this is just saying that that is what this information is. So statistic, degrees of freedom, p-value. So if you ever have a question about what is in your output uh, from the statistical analysis, you can look at this page uh, and get a full rundown of all that sort of stuff. So those are there as a resource for you in case you want it. So I think that pretty much gets us out of the way in terms of getting you set up. So make a point of downloading and installing Jamovi. Uh, you can go ahead in the data files tab and download uh, Jamovi demo. If you download it to your documents folder, it's going to be a little bit easier in a second, but as long as you download it somewhere, you can find it again. Uh, that'll be fine. So I will let you do that and you can come back for the next video where we'll load up the program and see how we can throw data into it.